What's up, YouTube? It's Eric, a Lions fan. I appreciate you checking out this video. I'm sure you guys noticed that the very first thing is I shaved my beard. I'll admit, being in the hot and humid, it's kind of low temperature, but it's humid out. It's very, I don't even have the air conditioner on here in the house, trying to save on some energy, but I might flip it on here just shortly. Um, it was looking gray. I mean, pretty gray. I mean, I don't color my beards at all, or my mustache, or anywhere. Even or any of my hair anyway. I just decided just to shave it off. Kind of give a new, kind of refreshed look. All that. Kind of my baby face here, as you can tell here. I'm kind of looking off on the... I, I got a... I'll, I'll admit I look like a baby face. I'm, I still got some weight on me, guys. And it it's predominantly shows here when I've shaved my, shaved my beard off. But I'm going to get back into doing that. Getting some weight off and whatnot. So... Um, hopefully, as time goes on, you'll see me get thinner and thinner and thinner. Because right now, I've been pretty much just kind of maintaining right now about 265 270 is where i'm at right now um anyway let's get off that topic uh it's going to be a sports related video detroit lions we'll start off with those guys first and then we'll go to detroit tigers i haven't really been following the detroit lions much and i haven't heard really anything on the news or the radio about any big moves that they've done um it's been pretty quiet now in park as of now they're doing otas i haven't really heard of anyone getting hurt or being put on the PUP list. So I think we're pretty healthy. Although I real and I'll admit I haven't done a whole lot of research on this. I'm just kind of going off of based really off what I've heard. Um without having Calvin Johnson there, I'm kind of wondering what <laughs> how the offense is going to be. I think the defense will be okay as long as our secondary is healthy. But if the secondary's shot like it was two years ago, they're just teams are going to just tear us up. Um, it will be interesting to find out how Marion Jones and Golden Tate kind of work together on the offense and how, um, Riddick Bell and I believe, uh, Abdullah kind of all combine to try to lift the team up and how well the offensive line gels too with some, uh, new offensive line people, younger people, uh, going to be interesting. I'm not willing to have predictions just yet because I haven't even seen a game yeah, but I'll I'll put it this way: if they don't produce 500, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a bad season for Detroit. I mean, we're we're wanting to have this team win, not necessarily go into the Super Bowl this year, but I would like to see a winning record. Um, like I said, it, we're, we're, we'll see how this goes when preseason comes up. Uh, the Detroit Lions. Or, excuse me, the Detroit Tigers. Zimmerman was put on the 15-day DL. I guess he had a neck strain. And last night, Norris got injured. And I it came up on my ESPN app on my phone what it was. I can't remember. I think he's on the 15-day DL as well. So there's two pitchers right there that are gone. And they're bringing up Sanchez. And I think they brought up Farmer from AAA to replace Norris. Not big on the Sanchez front because he's hasn't pitched well all year and I'm not very confident that he's going to do a good job for us while Zimmerman's out hopefully Zimmerman can come back healthy and have Sanchez go back to the bullpen I'm just not very confident in his abilities right now that's that's just I'm just being honest I his ERA is north of six right now. I think it was 605, right? Hovering right around six. So if he does get into the game, the Tigers are going to have to produce runs for him to give him some run support so he can do his do his thing. And as we all know, the Tigers, lately they've had run support, but back in the earlier part of the season, there was none. Kind of refer going back to their last year mode. but And kind of going to that for run support, they have seem to have figured it out for the non-division teams like the Seattle. Uh, I believe they just played. I can't remember who they played last before the, they played the Indians here. Oh, Tampa Bay. They figured it out against Tampa Bay. Usually if they play teams outside of their division, they do pretty well. It's when they come into the division playing the Indians, the Royals. Um, <clears throat> who else? Um Shit, I'm drawing a blank on the teams, though. Damn it. Oh, Chicago White Sox. The Twins, are I, they're the worst team in the league, so I expect them to win against the Twins. But if they go into division play, I don't think they're going to do well. I, 
like I said in all my other videos, I don't think this is a playoff team. They're going to have to really turn it on here in the last two months to really show me that they're playoff worthy. And they just haven't done that thus far. Coming up to the All-Star break. I don't see it happening, guys. I'm going to admit, I just don't see it happening. Uh, not a big Detroit Pistons fan or Red Wings fan. The only real significant news I've heard of them, heard of them is Pavel Dysik went to somewhere else via free agency, and I think the Pistons got somebody to help in their backcourt for their guard duties. I can't remember the names. Obviously, I don't, I don't follow that, so it's not surprising that I don't know the names or where – Pavel Dysik went. So, anyway, guys, that's going to be it for today. It's going on almost six minutes now on this video. Just kind of wanted to give a good, well, I think it sucks, but maybe you guys think it's good, a, uh, a sports, Detroit sports wrap-up. I haven't really heard anything on the Michigan or Michigan State fronts either for basketball or football. It's been kind of dormant there too. But maybe in my next video I'll do some research and get us, uh, get, a, get us out one of those. So, anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed my video, and I hope to see you guys again soon. Deuces.